So Steam's next fest has gone live, which means we all get to demo some great new games, and to my delight, I'm pleased to see there's an early alpha version of Manor Lords available. Those of you who are familiar with my channel will know that I freely admit to being a fan of the Settlers. Well, the original Settlers, that is, not that pile of stinking, festering crap that Ubisoft put out this year. Do you know, I just hate the gaming industry right now, and I'm not talking about the indie devs here, I'm talking about the big devs, and before I jump into this preview, I'm going to show you what I mean. Using the Settlers as an example, here's some words from the lead artist we got leading up to the full release of the Settlers. He was asked, what would you tell young, inspiring artists looking to enter the gaming industry? If you want to be a great artist, I think you should pack your suitcase and go see the world. Traveling, it is a real school. And all the work I do at the office, for example, is are very inspired by by the things I have seen. We have a specific area in the game that it was very inspiring and it's my last trip to South Africa. We're a little more progressive and ahead of the curve here in San Francisco. Um. So his advice is pack your suitcase and travel the world. Wouldn't it be lovely if we could all do that? I mean, I'd just love to pack up my suitcase right now and go on some little adventures around the world. In fact, this whole video, which is available on Ubisoft's own YouTube channel, is just a giant flex. The guy really just wants to show you around his house and show you all of his expensive art, rather than show you anything about the game. So I like to wake up in the morning and being confronted to my own work. Ah, ah. My question is, can one person create a Settlers that we want to play? And there's no better way to do that in my opinion than give us all a demo. If you believe in your product and you think it's good enough, you shouldn't have a problem with any potential buyer wanting to take it for a test drive. And I'm not talking about any of this closed selective beta access for YouTube shills. I mean anyone should be able to try it. And that's exactly what you can do this week. It's available until the 10th of October, so go and give it a try yourself. Now, what you do get is pretty simple. We don't get to play around with the taxes or the warfare, which is going to be a huge part of this game, and I'm looking forward to getting my hands into that. But I've sunk a couple of hours into this game, and I can see that there's going to be a vast production line and an economy, which is essential. I also sense elements of Banished, another great city builder, where the seasons are going to play a massive effect on your population. Things like clothing and firewood are going to be needed to keep your village alive. It's going to have a deep economy and it shows promise. I've only been able to scratch the surface because, of course, this is only a demo and it'll only let you go so far. In the full release of the game, you're going to have a few different campaigns to choose from, one of which I was quite interested in, where you have to conquer a knight, which means you're going to have to build up your village and eventually take over and challenge other lords on the map. What I did play, I could easily get lost in, watching your little village build up over time. And when the full release is here, I'm gonna be coming back with some more content, I'm sure. Now, if I do have to offer some critique of the game, I'm not that impressed with the audio. I would suggest getting a proper English peasant to do the voices. Let's go, people! Come on, people, get to work! Let's go, people! I am available for commissions, by the way. And the music was somewhat depressing. I know you're going for the medieval theme here, but you could certainly spice up a few of these tracks and put a modern twist on a medieval theme. It's easily done and there's plenty of it out there. I've been on the devs discord for the last couple of years and all I have seen is work and progress being made on what is clearly a passion project. I'm honestly pretty stunned at how good this game looks, being just one person behind it all. I'm a great advocate for these little indie developers and I really hope that people start to see that the future of gaming lies with them and not with these soulless corporations that have no idea what it is to make a good, challenging game. It's not always about how good a game looks graphically, it's what's underneath the hood. And underneath the hood of Manor Lords, I can see there's potential. 
But don't take my word for it. Go and check it out this week on Steam and give it a try yourself. If you're a fan of games like Settlers or Banished, then this one might be up your street. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya. Get to work, lads!